how are you today? This is Mark. In English, there are a lot of grammar rules. However, there are a myriad of exceptions. In this series, I'm going to talk about those exceptions. So let's start with what you don't know about the present perfect. Great, the present perfect. I love this tense, really. Why? Because it represents our lives. I always say this to my students. Present perfect is something that happened in the past and has an effect in the present and there is a hint of the future. So it represents our lives, actually. And we usually use this tense with verbs such as live, work, study. So things you do repeatedly in your life. Yes, the first point that I want to talk about is actually this, the past and the present. Yes, this tense has an action that happened in the past, but uh, has an effect in the present. Yes, it refers to events that are relevant now, but happened in the past. Let's take a look at my examples. He's moved to another city. That's why he can't come to the party. So, which action happened first? He has moved, right? He's moved to another city. So, this happened first. And the action that is relevant now is he can't come to the party. Yes, he can't come to the party. That's why he has moved. So, it's an action that happened in the past and is relevant now. Another example. People always share the best advice they've ever received. Which action happened first? They've ever received. So, somewhere, somewhere in the past, they received a message or advice. Okay? And it's relevant now because I said People always share, so present simple, people always share. This is with the present simple. And that's why we use the present simple and then the uh, present perfect, because it's an action that happened in the past, but it has an effect in the present. This is the first point about the present perfect. Now, let's take a look at the second point. Yes, the present perfect is used when reporting the news. That's right. So, let's suppose I'm a journalist, and I'm telling you, this is the example. The labor union have decided to go on strike next week. Have decided. They've organized, they have organized a demonstration to protest against cuts. So, these are present perfect, and this is a piece of news that I'm giving you, and that's why we use the present perfect. Now, the third point, I divided it into three parts. Why? Because we talk about the present perfect simple, and the present perfect continuous. Let's take a look at the first point then. Present perfect simple versus present perfect continuous. One present perfect simple is a finished action. Present perfect continuous is unfinished. Let's take a look at my examples. She has made a cake. This means that it's finished. That she made a cake one minute ago and it's finished. When I use the present perfect, it's not important when, but it is important the action. Now, the second one is with the present perfect continuous. She has been making a cake for the last hour. Here, there is an indication for the last hour, that it continues, right? So, it's not finished. She has been making a cake for the last hour. Now, the second point of the third, <laughs> of the third point that I want to talk about is the present perfect is used, the present perfect simple and continuous is used with how long. How long have you studied English for? Okay, and this is maybe finished, we don't know, but probably is finished. Versus, how long have you been studying English for and is still going on, right? Because we said that the present perfect 
that continues is for actions that still continue up to now. Now, the third point I listed here is with since and for. Remember that since and for can also be used with the past simple, but generally speaking, we use it with the present perfect. Present perfect uh, simple or present perfect continuous. Like answering to the question before, right? How long have you studied English for? I've studied English for five years. I used for to indicate a period for five, five years. So I don't study English anymore, right? Yes. The second one, have, how long have you been studying English for? I've been studying English since, and this is a precise time, since 2015. So that means that the person is still learning English, right? Or studying English. So, for, for a period of time, and since, for a specific um, time. Now, if you want to watch a lesson on these points, or these grammar rules, you may click here. The fourth point that I want to talk about are agents of duration. What are they? There are words like briefly, long, temporary, overnight, etc. They indicate duration of time, actually. So, the two examples, we've left that town forever. So, forever here is the adjunct of duration, forever. We've left, we have left that town forever. We, we're not saying when, we're saying just forever, which is an adjunct of uh, duration. Another example, I've always, always is the adjunct of duration, I've always liked the way you smile. Okay, I've always liked. And again, this is uh, used with the present perfect, right? And within uh, the adjunct of duration, always. Now, there is another expression that we use, and we use it with the present perfect. It, the it is the first time, that is the first time, or this is the first time, plus the present perfect. So the example here, it's the first time she's been to Rome. It's the first time she's been to Rome. And here is an indication of a past action. Now I'm going to erase this and I'm going to show you two other points on the present perfect. Right, so we are back with the two last points that I want to talk about today. The first one is when we use when. Yes, sometimes when can be used with the present perfect. Yes, I'm sure you heard that when is used with the past simple, generally. But there are exceptions. We use when with the present perfect, for example. Let's take a look at my two examples. When you finished your test, hand it in. So this is the first conditional. And here, the present perfect has a hint of the future. That's why, previously, I said that the present perfect can have a hint of the future. The second example, they'll apply for a job when they've prepared well, the questions asked. They'll apply for a job, and here is the future, the, the second part of the first conditional, which is the result. When they've prepared well, the question, the questions asked. And in this case, we have they've prepared, and there is the hint of the future. So, when with the present perfect, sometimes. The last point that I want to talk about is that in American English, people hardly use the present perfect. They replace it with the past simple. So, let's take a look at the examples I listed. She has worked at that office for a year. In American English, they would say she worked at that office for a year. Or, have you ever been to Canada? Have you ever been to Rome? In American English, did you ever go to Canada? Did you ever go to Rome? This is American English. The third example, I've just washed the dishes. Or, I just washed 
the dishes in American English. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, requests, or if you want to post your own example of the present perfect, you may do so under this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you want to share the lesson, you may do so. Um, one last thing, if you want to watch a lesson on the present perfect or the present perfect continuous, you may click here. Have a great day and see you next week. Bye-bye.